Hey guys, so this is a follow-up video to my recent blog article about what a fear threshold is in your horse and how to recognize it. Um, so we're going to be watching some videos about with my horses as I'm working with them. Some of the videos like this one are from a long time ago and I would not train a horse like this anymore, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when a horse is well above threshold. Um, and reacting fearfully. Here is my horse Pumpkin and she's running around kicking out at this object that's tied to her. This is called flooding. Um, it's a form of desensitizing and you can see she's extremely stressed. She's breathing hard, running hard, trying to escape this, escape this object. So next we're going to be watching a video of my other horse, Tiger. Um, this was also from a while ago, but this is a different type of desensitizing called systematic des desensitization, if I can say that right. Um, she's below threshold here, but she is recognizing that this object could be a little bit scary, so I'd say she's just below it. I wouldn't, she's not completely oblivious of this, but she is, um, doing really, really well. She's relaxed. She's engaging with me. She's um, paying attention to the object, but not afraid of it there. She kind of gave a little bit of a worried look. I would say that she was approaching threshold, but not actually afraid of the object. She's doing really well here. I'm just looking for her to give calming signals as far as like putting her head down, keeping her facial expression really relaxed, her body relaxed, no pulling away, no moving away from me. You'll notice I'm not holding on to her. I'm not forcing her to stay there. Um, she is every once in a while gives a little tiny flicker of like, oh shoot, what are you doing? And then she's like, oh cool, we've got this. I think she's far more concerned with wanting to know what she's supposed to be doing to get a reward than the object. Here she's a little bit, um, I would say she's approaching threshold or at threshold. She's giving worried looks. Her head has gone up just a little bit. Her ears are slightly back. Her face is a little bit um, worried looking. I wouldn't say it's rigid or firm. She does have a, um, more obvious whites around her eyes, so sometimes it looks like she's acting worried when she's really not, but she is in this video showing a little bit more whites than usual. Um, she has a little bit more of a reaction to the bag near her neck versus later on you'll see as I work er around her whole body and she's much more relaxed when it moves away from her neck and her head. She's doing really, really well here. She's below threshold, like really, really below threshold. She's lowering her head. She's relaxed and chewing. She's just looking for what it is I want that will earn her a reward. She's not at all concerned about the bag on her back, which is really good. But don't pay so much attention to the bag and the object as much as her expression and what she's showing me. Because you can have a horse that doesn't necessarily move when a bag's on its back, but is actually at or above threshold, but is too afraid to move uh, for fear of getting in trouble. And you're actually, your horse is actually frightened at that point, but is more frightened of getting in trouble than, than of moving away from the object. There, when I put the bag over her head, she went above threshold, her head went up, her eyes became extremely worried. There, she yanked away from me slightly. Um, I probably pushed her just a little bit too fast, so I pulled it away, and at that point, we go ahead and we restarted and just tried to get her to stay below threshold, and she did really well the second time. Here I'm working with another horse. This is a horse that sometimes appears not to be afraid of things when she's actually slightly afraid of something, but she's more afraid of getting in trouble for moving away than for showing me that she's afraid of something. She's doing really well right here. Um, this horse is blind on one side. I'm currently on her side that she can see just fine. You'll see she doesn't, she reacts a little bit by lifting her head, but she's kind of more like, what are you doing, lady, than being really upset. Um, she's not really going to threshold level. 
There, she lifts her head up a little bit. She's like, oh, there's a bag on my head. But she's doing really well. She even puts her head down and is relaxed. So she's doing really well here. No reaction from her as I pull the bag down, which is good. That's what we want. We don't want reaction. We don't want to ever push them up to reaction, which is exactly what I get here. <laughs> this is something I wouldn't do now. Again, these videos are from a while ago, and I've learned a lot since then. I pull her back towards me, which now I wouldn't do because I'm forcing her to accept what it is I'm doing. And I don't know why, but I continue to increase the intensity of the stimulation even though she's showing me that she's at threshold she's right now arguing with herself internally whether she should flee or if she should be more afraid of getting in trouble for fleeing um, if she's her one ear towards the object she is expressing a lot of um, stress towards me her she's leaning away from me um, she's trying really hard to be good but that's not what I'm looking for. I want her to become slowly comfortable with this object and to not be more afraid of me than she is the object. I want to see that she's not afraid of it at all. So her head is really high right here. Her mouth has gone tight. She's still eating a little bit, so that's good. But now she has actually decided that moving away is better than just standing there. So I've actually kicked into the uh, flea part of her reaction um, so she's above threshold and moving away from the re from the object there's a difference between kind of moseying away and the moving away she was just doing she was leaning away from me and she's been arguing with herself about whether she should move away or not and then finally she's like okay I'm moving I can't handle this anymore and for some reason I pull her in tighter to me which is not only more dangerous when you're dealing with a horse that is afraid of something but it's also not helping her mentally. Now she feels very stuck. She's not going to be able to associate this stimulus with feeling calm and confident and unthreatened. But now she's actually going to associate this stimulus with being afraid and being stuck and unable to get away from it. So again, these videos are from a while ago. I don't train quite like this. Um, I wouldn't get a horse this above threshold now. But these are excellent examples of what it looks like when a horse has gone from calm or below threshold to at threshold and then over threshold. And they're exactly what you need to be looking for when working with desensitizing and training your horse. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure and check out my website and the blog for more information. And if you watched this video but didn't read the original blog article, please go back and read the article and this video will make a lot more sense. Alright, until next time guys.